like i was searching for an internship and uh, one of my friends suggested that you can contact mass and uh, they might help you uh, with your placement process as well and as well as the interview so hi everyone welcome back to my analytics school and uh, to our interview series so today we have shardul kulkarni with us who will be talking about his placement journey with mas and his placement journey as a data scientist and he finally got placed at deloitte Hi Shardul welcome to MAS how are you can you give your can you give a like brief introduction about yourself yeah hello uh, uh, i am shardul gulkarni uh, i am an iit bhu alum and a mass alum so i have been placed at deloitte india and i will be starting my journey this june as a data scientist there that's great shardul that's great so uh, shardul can you let the audience know about the recruitment process of deloitte and particularly data scientist role and uh, what advice would you give who's preparing for the same company and the same role yeah sure so the uh, uh, first was the technical test so it was quite different from the other companies it had five ml coding questions so it did not have any mcus or uh, other quant lrdi etc so it had proper ml questions five questions we were, we were given 1 hour 20 minutes out of which two were easy and three were uh, like medium to difficult level so i was able to solve two and then there were 24 students who were shortlisted for the interviews and then there was one round of interview for me okay so were there any resources that were given to you like you could access some resources or not for the coding questions yeah yeah for the coding questions like the libraries were imported like basic lamp libraries such as numpy pandas sklearn Seaborn, okay. etc. So uh, these basic ML libraries. Okay, that's great. So the test was uh, difficult, or was it easy, like compared to the other? Tests? Yeah, like so it was like ninety nine percent of the companies which come to campus do not have ML coding questions, right? They have, they either have data science and algorithms, right? So right. it was uh, quite new to everyone, and uh, I would say it was like quite difficult. Like I was able to solve only two two point five out of five, but still mm -hmm. I was shortlisted. Okay. Okay, so uh, can you tell the audience about the technical skills and the languages that are important for this particular role, and how candidates yeah, yeah. can show that they're efficient, they're proficient in it? Yeah, sure. So the technical skills, I would say, like basics of ML should be crisp and clear, and along with that, they they have they had asked to code the mathematics of certain problems, like like uh, mathematics behind SVMs. Uh, hmm. logistic regression etc so you should be clear with the mathematics and the code you should be able to code it and okay. so if you have that sort of proficiency then uh, like obviously theoretical skills would be enough for the interview that etc okay that's great uh, another question uh, is that uh, any suggestions for the resume like how can the candidates make sure that the resume gets uh, shortlisted and what are the sections that are valued more in the resume yeah so i uh, like uh, first of all like uh, foremost step is like do not lie on your resume only tell whatever you know whatever you are comfortable yeah. with and uh, i would say that internships and uh, and uh, projects are the most important and crucial for part for the data scientist role like cause okay. pors and etc might come handy in analytics but you should be very much uh, comfortable with ml data science and if you have got advanced deep learning projects you should also be comfortable with those two okay that's pretty great uh, so can you uh, tell about the areas particular areas that the candidate should focus for this role when it comes to interviews so that they stand out differently from all the other applicants so yeah so so the firstly coming to soft skills like uh, your communication you should be positive throughout the interview you should be smiling wherever wherever it is necessary you should be keeping the atmosphere light and then coming to the technical section so i would say that uh, you should be very much comfortable with your internships projects you should be having the write ups ready beforehand like i i had started writing write ups 20 days before the interviews so that would be ideal so that you can uh, sort of give the direction to the interview okay uh, 
so while all this uh, interview preparation is being done by students they generally make some common mistakes did you make some mistakes and can you list out a few that uh, you have seen or you have made and they should avoid doing such mistakes yeah sure so like in one of my interviews what happened was uh, the interviewer asked me one question i was unable to answer it right then so again she asked me another questions with technical question i was unable to answer it third question i tried but then again and then fourth question was like i i would have able to answer it but due to the pressure which was built built up so i wasn't able to under, uh, like solve it so you should not let the pressure yeah, like dominate you right uh, so what tips and strategies uh, can you tell these audience and the students that they can use to answer technical questions as you talked about efficiently and effectively yeah sure so like uh, with regards to ml like firstly you should be comfortable with a theoretical concepts then you should be knowing the mathematics behind uh, algorithms then you should be able to code that thing like uh, knn logical regression linear regression etc and then also you should be able to apply sklearn libraries pandas data preprocessing on the data set along with the algorithm so like i would say that these four points are necessary for you to become proficient technically okay that's great uh, any other technical skills that you would talk, like to talk about sql or yeah so like uh, during my uh, deloitte interview i wasn't asked particularly uh, like uh, anything else uh, anything else such as sql or excel etc it was purely based on my internships uh, and a little bit of ml ml questions so but in during my other interviews i was asked to, uh, like uh, Uh, data science interviews. I was asked about Pandas library, its syntax, NumPy library, its syntax. So, like, uh, we you should be yeah, you should revise those concepts half an hour, one hour before the interview, so that you don't mess up the syntax. Right. So uh, another thing, like, were you asked to uh, do some DSA or coding, some data structures no, algorithm? No. Okay. No, so no, it was done during the test. Mm -hmm. It was like it was covered during the test, right? So it was more focused on, focused on my internships. Okay. So particularly for all the other folks who are uh, also sitting for data scientist interviews, it's important to also practice uh, DSA because uh, in most of the interviews, unlike uh, what Shardul had, but in most of the interviews, they're also asked data science. Uh, in data science interviews, they're asked DSA as well, right? Shardul, am I uh, right? So you would, you must have noticed your friends having DSA in the. Coding on the interviews, right? Yeah. For data science, so um, that yeah, also yeah. is very important. Right. After the next question is, what HR questions should the candidate expect, and how they can prepare for them and answer them effectively? Yeah, sure. So the first and foremost would be like, the, tell me about yourself. You should <laughs> it like it should uh, like yeah. You should be very comfortable with it. You should have like uh, revised it like ten, fifteen times before the interviews. And then, secondly, uh, like uh, more majorly, like uh, HR questions related to your strengths and your weaknesses is uh, asked quite often. And uh, like you should be able, like you should jot down two to three points, which uh, you can explain. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And then the third point is I would uh, ask the students to do company research well before sitting for the interviews, because at the end of the interview, they do ask that. uh well, like uh, why do you want to join the company so uh, you can visit their websites uh, so, uh, like uh, read more about the projects which the company is working on and then you can ask a couple of questions about the projects very uh, very true uh, shadul apart from that i feel a lot of uh, students fail to understand that hr round is an elimination round and they take it very lightly so another thing that students should focus on is hr round because it is an eliminatory round and people do get eliminated in it right yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, the next question is uh, are there some resources or tools that you would recommend students who are preparing for the interviews for data science profile and uh, did you use some of them you can name some of the tools that you used as well yeah Yeah, so sure. so uh, like uh, I did a few Coursera courses and uh, Udemy courses for basic machine learning stuff, and with uh, for learning ML and for preparing for the interviews, I guess Mass provides a library of blogs which you can read throughout for 
three three to four months, which can uh, help you keep in touch with all of the concepts. So I guess uh, the resources provided are by mass are sufficient. Okay. Uh, so since you talked about mass, can you tell about how did you come to know about uh, MS and uh, why did you choose it? And what plus what yeah. was your experience in it once you decided to go with MS? Yeah, sure. So like uh, like I was searching for an internship and uh, one of my friends suggested that you can contact mass and uh, they might help you uh, with your placement process as well and as well as the interview. So during my during the December and January of my uh, second year, I got in contact with Sajan Bhaiya from mass and then he helped me like he told me that uh, this is would be your roadmap for these one to two months you prepare you prepare these projects and then you can apply start applying off campus so right from applying for internships i was in i was with mass and then there are then onwards like for 1.5 five years i had like uh, the connection always got stronger and deeper with mass okay so it was even before the batch had started that you were in contact with uh... yeah right yeah that's pretty great okay so can you give some advice to someone who is considering to join ms for a data analyst or data scientist profiles yeah sure yeah, yeah. sure so like uh like i was searching for an internship and uh, one of my friends suggested that you can contact mass and uh, they might help you uh, with your placement process as well and as well as the interview so so like like i've the major advice what I would give is that uh, during the campus, uh, like while you come to the campus, uh, there is a lot of stuff going on. Like there are academics, there are practicals, then there are tests also going on. And with that, you kind of lag behind the schedule which mass provides. So yeah. like you should not run away from it. You should be in contact with your mentors, super mentors, and whatever problems which you are facing, you should share with them. Like. Uh, like there would be days in which you would be feeling quite low and you would think that uh, like uh, ab hoga Matlab, but difficult hai. so you should contact your se seniors and mentors they, their support helps you a lot right right Shadul. uh Shadul, any advice like about data science profile or placement journey that you would like to give to our audience yeah sure so like uh like I would say that uh, for the data science profile as such, uh, I would reiterate that internships and projects would be the core a major focus area in during your interviews. And for that, you should be uh, having the write-ups ready. And then uh, with the write-ups, it's that when the interview hears your write-up, he would probably ask you two to th any of the three, four questions. And then you should be ready to handle them uh, uh, efficiently and then once you answer those questions confidently uh, uh, like you start to uh, direct the interview where you want not the where not where the interviewer wants so in that way you can spend time with the interviewer much more in a, like a, easily and then he would be quite impressed if you follow this. basically like converting an interview to more like a conversation right yeah 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 correct yeah Great. Uh, thank you, Shardul. Thank you for all those words and helping our audience know about everything related to data science and particularly Deloitte profile as well. It was great having you and we hope you the best for all the journey ahead. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.